can this turn into this? Well, it definitely won't if we don't do anything about it. We're gonna do something about it. We're just getting in the car. Um, we're gonna head out and collect a bunch of tree clippings and uh, we're really excited to try and turn part of our property into a wooded forest area. Um, we talked in another video about trying to grow our own firewood and have a forest for our pigs to forage in. So that's what we're going to try and get started on and uh, we figure if we don't try then 100% chance of us not having a forest in our property someday. So we figured we better start now. The best time to plant a tree is 30 years ago, the second best time to plant a tree is right now. So let's go! property to look like this. So we're just driving around looking for trees that have suckers on them. Things that we can cut off and sprout. You know, get them to sprout roots. And uh, we just came up to a, a house with some beautiful big big Bolianus poplars out front. It's one of our favorites. And they happen to be full of suckers. So we're just going to ask these people if they'd mind if we trim up their trees a little bit. See what they say. <laughs> if you don't ask, the answer's no. Yep, always. There might be a chance if we ask. Look at how gorgeous. That is just gorgeous. Here, buddy, you want to show her that doggy thing? Hey, doggy. Hey, doggy. Hey, doggy. This is like a gem. What a cool place. <laughs> well, the dad said to just knock ourselves out. We can get as many as we want. We're basically doing the gardening for free, and we benefit hugely from it.
represents about about one percent of the trees that I'd love to have planted this year. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so if this works, it would be it would change everything. It would it would just change everything. <laughs> we'll have to maybe dip the ends in some rooting hormone. We might have to really baby them for the first little while, but. Uh, it has the potential of drying our property up too, which is uh, not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, yeah. These kind of roots, or these kind of trees really like moisture and they like to suck it up. So they are going to be very happy at our house. <laughs> Here's another reason why we want a lot of trees. Look at the depth of that organic matter that comes from just all this fallen, you know, tree branches and leaves. Hmm. It's a very, very fertile environment. So they were nice enough to let me fill up our bucket. Um. Wow. <laughs> You know what, we deal with this every spring when we get too many trees. <laughs> Remember last year, like our car turned into a jungle? Yeah, that was so fun. Do you want big trees at our house? Yeah. Want to climb on? Yeah. What's on your lips? Lipstick. Oh. What would you do with if we had a hundred trees? You probably have more than a hundred. Well, that was awesome. Thank you guys. We'll see ya. Bye. Well, just make sure you don't run over my teeth. Yeah, we don't want to run over your golf tee. <laughs> nice to meet you. See you later. success. Can't believe we were so easily able to find a family with trees they, they were so eager to give away. Of course, they don't know they're trees, they're just um, extra branches that are in the way for them. But that was such a success. We're excited. We, we're going to go get some more. We're going to head up to a canyon locally and see if we can find some, uh, some different varieties of trees by the side of the road. This is fun. <laughs> We're just uh, by a river up in one of the nearby canyons and I just want to show you the kind of thing that we're looking for. So but the, these suckers here, these parts of the tree that are basically the just the one-year-old shoots. Uh, these are just from last year. They're taking advantage of the root system uh, from the mother tree and they just spring up really quickly and they're really green. They have a lot of um, potential for growth. They're just kind of uh, rearing to go. So those are the ones that, that grow the best and that root out the best. And also you can cut those and it doesn't harm the tree at all. In fact, it's good for the tree to get rid of those and give them new life somewhere else. 
and I've actually gotten a few of those already. Let's go get some more trees. Got poplar here, whole bunch of them. And I think this is box elder, pretty sure. And I actually don't know what this is. But uh might be a wild rose. There's some thorns there. But it looks like this might even be something else. So we'll just get these tree cuttings home and uh, get some rooting hormone on them. Give them a better fighting chance. And uh, get them in the water. Hey Buttercup, did you miss us? Alright, we're home and I've just taken the tree cuts out of the car and I've put them, I've given them some extra water. So you can see that that's quite full and that one needs a little bit more. But um, but here's what I'm going to add to the water. It, make sure you can see that. This one happens to be by Fertilome. I paid about six bucks for it. And I've had some success with it in the past, so I'm going to just add there's three and a half tablespoons per gallon. I've got about three gallons here. I'm just obviously just estimating. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mix it around in a minute. All right. And I used up probably <laughs> two and a half or three bucks worth right, right there. Let me find my lid. <clears throat> but that's okay, because I've got, if I were to pay full price for these trees, if they were rooted out in just in little tiny, you know, um, two quart containers at a greenhouse, I would probably be looking at $750 to $1,200 worth of trees here for six bucks and, and a few hours of time. So I am really excited. I am very hopeful, very pretty confident and very hopeful that, they, that these will do well. And um, gosh, if, I, if I had a little bit more time right now, I would, I would, I'm so excited. I want to just get them in the ground, but that will have to wait until for tomorrow. And I'm gonna get as many as I can done. So, hey, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for watching our videos, and uh, thanks also for commenting. Subscribe if you haven't, and be sure to click the the little bell icon. Otherwise, you won't get notifications uh, about our new videos, and you might forget about us. <laughs> Hopefully not. All right. Thanks again, and I'll see you tomorrow.